my birthday. <laughs> and transfer day. <laughs> Okay, I'm going in for my second baseline. If you follow us on Instagram, you would have seen that I um, baselined and my lining was too thick. So now I'm going in again and hopefully today's the day I get to start estrogen. We'll see. I can't go in yet. Too many people. So here I stay. All done. I'm home. Yay. And I'm good to start estrogen. My yeah. lining was at a 5.8. So I can start estrogen twice a day now and build my lining back up. <laughs> so I needed to lessen so that I could build it up with estrogen. And then once it's at a good thickness, thick. Um, then I, um, then I'll start the progesterone shots and I'll need those for six days and then transfer. Yay. It's happening, babe. Good work, baby. Thanks. Should we get out of bed? Yeah. I've already been out of bed for quite a few hours. Yeah, go ahead. Okay. okay, so I um, just went to the fertility clinic this morning and I had my lining check and I was able to choose my transfer date. What'd you pick? I picked my birthday. Yay! So the doctor said if I start my progesterone shots today, I can do it on my birthday, which is next Tuesday. I'm really excited. Um, my lining has been looking really good. It is looking a lot like my ERA cycle was, and so that's really good because that's how they're basing my progesterone on. So yeah, um, I've been on estrogen for two weeks. I'm gonna continue doing that. Now I'm gonna start my, my progesterone, and then next Tuesday, transferring baby Megan. Let's do this. Let's do it. I don't remember how to find the perfect spot. It better be the perfect spot. I do not want a I numb I don't ass. <laughs> <laughs> this is a great angle. I look really pale though. I'm not looking forward to this, guys. Does that feel right? It's Rachel? Yeah, maybe up a little bit. No. That's. Yeah, no, not that. So you divide the butt cheek in half. And then half again, and then you do the upper outer corner. You make a, let me make a, so you do this, and then you do the upper outter corner. Yeah. Find the middle of that, right? Yeah. Or so the upper left of that. Yeah. Ooh, I'm nervous. I haven't done this in a while. Oh, I'm nervous too. I don't <laughs> like it. I feel like it was easier when we were like traveling around the world and like not worrying so much about the perfect spot. We were just like, all right, let's quickly do this in this grody bathroom and try not to touch anything. If you haven't seen that video, it's kind of funny. You should go watch it. Oh, guys, I'm scared. <laughs> it's always like really nerve wracking after you haven't done it in a while. It happened. Okay, the needle is in me right now. And she's pushing the progesterone in. But it's warm, thick oil. So it takes a long time. Wasn't too bad. Oh, did you see that needle? Oh, I saw that. You're not even bleeding that much. That's awesome. Baby Megan is gonna be so worth this. <laughs> Gotta rub it in now. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The massage. <laughs> <laughs> I feel. It felt okay. It was t like I could feel it. It felt that going in. I forget how hard it is to push it. Yeah, in. but it takes a while to get in, so it's yeah. fine. I'm just bleeding a little. Usually All right, you so a lot. progesterone shot number one out of nine weeks because after our transfer, we have to keep doing it. 
Maybe more than that. No, it? yeah. No, out of like 11 weeks because we have to get through nine weeks of pregnancy, I believe. So yeah, many, many weeks of progesterone ahead of us because this transfer is going to work. We're finally going to make a baby. Thanks for the heating pad on my butt. You're welcome. It's my birthday <laughs> and transfer day. turn on the camera because the Valium is kicking in. You always Valium. You always get yourself a new Valium. Well, gotta give what the people love. <laughs> Loopy gel. We've heard from quite a few people that Valium gel is, is a fun gel. And it only happens on transfer day, so here it is. So we are on our way to our transfer right now. First transfer with our adopted embryos. Yep. It feels different, doesn't it? It does, in a weird way. I don't feel that anxiousness of like, I hope they're still growing and I hope, you know, we're not gonna get bad news when we get there. Yeah. Um, especially because we have five perfect little embryos. So right. it just feels like a little bit more of security. Um, yeah, it feels a little different. And this is lucky number three for me. So this is my third transfer. The first one was back in February when I did reciprocal with Sam's embryo. And then in June, we did the double embryo transfer. And now this one, the embryos we chose. Yep. Which is super special. So I'm really excited about that. I've been definitely a little bit more emotional <laughs> this, this go around. I don't know if the progesterone is hitting me differently. I think it was the estrogen hitting you differently. Really? Yeah. I, don't I haven't know. noticed a big shift since the progesterone, but the estrogen was. I saw. Jesus. This uh, oops. Sorry, babe. <laughs> what? Just being more emotional. You Yesterday I like laid on the couch crying <laughs> over like nothing. That's okay. <laughs> Yeah, now I'm getting a little, a little reclumped. Aww. Aww. It's gonna be okay. I know. <laughs> we know that um, just because they're different embryos doesn't mean they're guaranteed, but um, we also know that human beings exist in this world from um, these genetics, so we feel like that's a good thing, and our doctor said that's a good thing. Um, so, yeah. you know, it just feels, and our doctor feels like it's just a new ball game now. So, um, we yeah. know that it's not guaranteed to work, and we're not expecting a guarantee. Um, we still have, you know, a little bit of a um, guard, kind of. I mean, we'll be heartbroken if it doesn't work, but we still know that that's a possibility, and we're still keeping that in our minds. But we're just excited to finally get back to transferring. It feels like it's been a while. Yeah. Like it's been a long road. <laughs> it definitely has. But it feels like it hasn't been that long of a wait since June, our last Was it June IVF. Or June. It was like right around your birthday. Yeah, so it's not been that long. That. Yeah, we did yeah. transfer right around your birthday, and now we're doing one on my birthday. And the cool thing about this is that if this transfer works and we have a healthy full term pregnancy, then the baby will be due right before Sam's birthday. So that's kind of cool. That is cool. And I would love to see that happen. So, um, I just want to say, like, I am actually really glad that we decided to be open about this transfer cycle. And, like, share it in real time? Yeah. So we've been sharing it in real time on Instagram, which I'm sure many of you follow us there. And if you're and, not, follow us on Instagram. Um, and usually we keep everything about two weeks out so that we are able to process and have a little privacy during things like this. Um, we're able to tell our, our close family and friends um, sooner and then everybody else can kind of find out when we're ready. Um, and I think that that's a pretty good rule of thumb for people who still want some privacy during this especially with sharing your life online. Um, but this time we just chose to 
put it all Go out all there. In. Go all in, put it all out there. And I, I feel so good about the amount of people who have reached out to us in the last couple of days. Yesterday we had tons of messages from people on Instagram and Facebook wishing us well and so giving us good luck. If you are one of the millions of people, no, by millions I mean tens of people who wish us good <laughs> luck, um, thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you for your good wishes and your prayers and your positive energy and your good vibes and your thoughts and um, we believe that all the uh, all the good juju coming toward us, whatever form you send it in, is um, powerful. And so, yeah, thank you. Yeah, so that that feels a little different this time too. I feel like we have so many people thinking about us today. We've got already quite a few messages on Instagram that I haven't checked just yet, but people just saying that they're thinking about us, sending prayers, and all that. So. It just feels like a lot of energy is coming toward us, and yeah, that is, I hope, a good thing. A good thing. I mean, I know it's a good thing, but yeah. I hope it's. I felt like that on our powerful. wedding day, and I felt like it was powerful and awesome, and you yeah, know, yeah. Hopefully, it's replicated here. Yep. <laughs> and to go along with all the juju, we have all of our good luck charms. So, I'm wearing a bracelet from our friends and my mother-in-law me her bracelet to wear, her Hamsa. I'm wearing my Hamsa. Um, we've got our, our good luck charm from our friend, <laughs> Rachel. We've got... you got two in your purse. I've got two in my <laughs> purse right now from our friend Alex. And I have my grandma's ring. I'm wearing my other grandma's ring. Um, I've got my lucky transfer socks. They've not brought us luck just yet. But I think they just haven't been worn on the right transfer day, so that's okay. Um, I decided to wear green. I polled a bunch of people. What color do you wear on your successful IUIs and IVF transfers? And I decided green. Green's my color this year, so. I love green, it's my favorite color. Yeah. Sam's wearing the rose quartz bracelet from my parents, so that's special. Um, and then We've had some friends reach out and offer us some like good luck things. So a friend of ours um, sent us a picture of her arm and she said that she often has her patients. Um, she's an OBGYN. She's an OBGYN and she often has her patients uh, rub their arm on her arm for good luck and it always seems to work. So she sent us a picture of her arm. Um, I think I have a video of that, so <laughs> I'll put that in here. She lives um, out of state, so she's like, this is the best I can do. Yep, so I it's rubbed really the cute. picture of her arm on my arm um, a couple of weeks ago. So we've just got tons of good stuff coming toward us. And it feels really, really special. <sighs> All right, enough of the sappy stuff. We are almost, almost at our there. clinic and... Um, what is special about this transfer day during COVID pandemic? What's your birthday? What's my birthday, but also who gets to go in with me? I get to go in. I'm so excited. Yeah. So if you missed it on Instagram, um, I can put in a little clip here. It's just sound. Um, but because I was asleep. Guess what? You get to go in. I do. Yep. That's amazing. I know, right? Did I change the rules? Or did it mean I suck you? I did it for my birthday. They did? No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> they changed the rules. Yeah, Sam was asleep because I had to go to early morning monitoring so so early because I've started working again. I've started teaching and I surprised her with uh, the news that they are now allowing partners, spouses, um, back, in. back in to do like egg retrievals and transfers and ultrasounds. So um, the last time we went through this was like in the in the thick of COVID quarantine and mm -hmm. 
Sam was not allowed in for my egg retrieval or the transfer, and it was really, really sad. I really hated it. Yeah, she just had to wait in the car and hope everything was good. I was able to FaceTime her, but it's just not the same. So this time, Samala gets to be with me at my side recording. So you're gonna see our actual transfer. I need to move the camera down. You so probably that. need to hang up so you can text that mark. <laughs> I need to hang up with hang you guys. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the I'm gonna hang up with you guys because I need to text the clinic that we are here um, so that they can call us in. We are here to transfer one embryo. Do you agree? Yes. yes. Awesome. All right. In a little bit on that big monitor will again be your name and birthday. Yeah. So I'm going to have you verify that for me as well. Warm jelly, belly. Yep. Yep. All right. Positive ID, Bailey. Can you look around me six months old? I'm sorry. Yes. I'm sorry. No, no, no. I got you. problem. Look at that gorgeous embryo. Beautiful. Come on, little one. Come on, little one. Come on, little we got a nice bed here for you. Your bladder's fine. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I can feel I, it I now. Feel it. Yep. <laughs> Dr. Wolf is helping me feel it. Yeah. I want to reassure you, everything's All just right. fine. <laughs> All right. Such a pressure. Go ahead and load, Bailey. Watch out. 